Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the file system. Remember last time we talked about the low-level driver. This is an example of a layered protocol. When I say a, a solution is layered, what do I mean? You're developing a system and it's layered. What does that mean? It's got a hierarchy, right? And so we could start with the hardware, which is typically the lowest layer. And on top of the hardware is what? A driver, okay? A low, I'm going to call it a low level driver. Okay? And on top of that is what? It's layered. A high-level driver. Yeah, you're smart. And on top of that is my user program. Okay. And the essence of a hierarchical or layered system is if the user wants to do a file system manipulation, what function does it call? If I want to do, I want to open a file for reading. And I'm a user. What do I do in a layered system? Do I twiggle bits in the hardware? No. Do I make function calls to the low-level driver? No. I call high-level driver functions. Okay. And then what does the high-level function do? Calls the, the low-level to do block read-write. We saw last time that we could read blocks and write blocks. Okay. And then what does the low-level driver do? Calls the hardware. Okay. In this way, it has a beautiful feature of what? What can I do with a hierarchical or layered system? Abstraction. It is abstraction. But what can I do with the abstraction? You can change the I can change any layer. He said I can change the low-level layer. Sure. I could actually implement the file system on the flash of the microcontroller. Eliminate the disk altogether. Because all I need to do is replace the read block, write block with read block and write block. Okay. What else could I do? I could change the low level driver, right? So rather than use an SD card, I could use a floppy disk or a network drive or an optical drive. Okay. Uh, what can I do with the high level driver? I could change it from FAT16 to FAT32 to you know to a different different formatting protocol. And they all have file open and file close and read file, write file. Okay, so the interface is found where? The arrow, the essence of this arrow is found where? If I look in the system, where would I find the arrow, the, the way one level can call another level? In the H files. Okay, so the C hierarchical system, I'm going to look. These connection points are the H files. Alright. So um, I don't know if I'll ask this on the test. This isn't actually a 445M educational objective. Uh, but in order to have a file system, I need three things. I could ask that. What are the three things required to make a file system? Okay. In order to implement a file system, I need a way to go from a logical address. An example of a logical address is File A, byte 12. Okay, that's a logical address. I want file A, uh, and I might file A may be, you know, I might have its 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 network address or its uh, it may be more complicated than just the letter A uh, to the, its physical address. Where do I find it physically? Okay. And then the uh, the second thing I have to do is manage uh, the disk itself. In other words, I got blocks. Each of the blocks can be uh, used or, or free, uh, and so I need a way to manage that free space. So when you format it, you get a lot of free blocks, uh, and then as you write to it, you uh, write, use up the free blocks, and when the disk is full, what do you got? No free blocks. Okay. And then uh, the other thing a file system will do will manage the way you go from the file name to the structure, which will tell you where everything, and that's the directory. Okay. 
uh, when I'm done with it, uh, I want to know how good it is. How big is it? How big? Can, how is the largest file I can use? How fast does it take? How reliable it is? Um, it turns out this is another place where your actual card matters. So if you take your little SD card out and plug in another one, it might run slower or faster. Okay. Clearly, you could have different sizes. So the speed is a function of technology, and obviously reliability as well. Um, I won't ask this one on the on the on the exam. This is a 445M slide, and the the fat word stands for file allocation table, and that is the mapping between the uh, logical address and the physical address. It's a way to tell uh, that we, we, this thing is color coded, uh, and the color code represents each color. You know, file A is is yellow, file B is green, file C is cyan, and it shows the mapping on the disk where all the blocks associated with those three files are. And this file allocation table is very small. This is very big, and this is very small. But it's a way to do the mapping to find out where all the blocks are for each file, okay? uh, which means if you lose this, the thing stops working because you can't find any of your blocks anymore. Okay? Um, but that's the essence of the file allocation or the FAT system. It's this mapping from the physical name to the location on the disk. If you want to know more about that, take 445M and you'll write your own. Okay, so again, drivers is in the H file. Let's go find the H file. That's ff.h. Here we are. Uh, again, I didn't write this. Didn't write it. So I can't explain it except I can get down to the list of functions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There they are. These are these are actually standard file functions uh, associated with a typical file system. Uh, I can open a file, and that allows me to either read or write depending on the mode. And you'll see some examples. I can close the file. Um, I can read. Again, from the uh, um, uh, I can read into this buffer uh, and get back how many how many bytes it actually read. I can write to it. Uh, files used to be all done on tapes. You just have physical tapes. I don't know if anybody anybody's seen a tape, you know, a videotape or a cassette tape. Yeah, you've probably seen them in the museum. But these are these functions are or still will run on the tape machines. So there's a, there's a function for fast forwarding and fast reversing. And yeah, you won't have to call, you won't have to. Um, yeah, we're gonna get by pretty much with the first four. Uh, open, close, read and write. That's, that's pretty much what you're gonna need to, uh, to, to, but they're a bunch. Uh, we're gonna mount uh, although, yeah, we're going to mount. Okay. This is probably uh, this is probably bad design. Let's just uh, let's just yeah, because those are probably helper functions. Those probably are, aren't appropriate for you to show to the user. Nevertheless, I didn't change it. I just used it. Oops. Yeah. <coughs> now it won't work ever again. Control C. Okay. Better not save anything. Tab. All right. All right. So um, then in disk io dot c. Um, yeah. Well, actually, it's not in that one. It's in these two. I'm going to show you these two, these two functions to show you how. Remember the purpose of the main program. You got a you got a driver. The H file is the is the fun one. The C file is the implementation, and the main program has what purpose? When you're delivering software to the embedded system software to a customer, you're going to give them three files, right? The H file, the C file, and a main program. And the purpose of the main program is? Show the functionality. Show the functionality okay? And the second has to do with the judge. Document testing. Document testing. Okay, so you're going to see both of them in this main program. So you're going to go, hey, what happens if I have, uh, what if I, you know, you're going to look at the first file here and say, uh, you know, maximum blocks is uh, 100. 
And you go, hey, John, what happens if I have an error in the 101st block? I'm going to tell the judge I never tested it. Right? I only tested you know, the low-level tester, which you should only run if, 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 if you're having catastrophic errors because it will reformat your drive. Only test the first 100 blocks. But it is what it is. Um, but the low-level tester uh, is testing uh, uh, disk write and disk read. So it basically writes a bunch of random numbers to the first 100 blocks of the SD card and then reads them back and makes sure it gets it. Okay. Um, but then file system test is a, is a high-level driver tester. It does a, sim a similar thing. It will uh, open a file called testfile.txt. Uh, oh, let, let, me see, let me sequence through the process. Uh, let's start with the main program. Main program. All right. um, main program is I'm going to do a, I'm going to initialize the graphics. Um, and I'm going to mount the, I'm going to mount the SD card. Because so this, uh, this is, sets up some initial variables. And now I'm in system test. And then I'm going to go open. Okay, you're going to go, hey, John, why didn't you initialize it? It turns out open will initialize it the first time you call it. Okay. Um, uh, what is the significance of this parameter? Let's just see how good, let's see how good it is. Okay, let's see how good this program is. In other words, can you figure it out without reading the directions? Okay, so what do you first see? What do you see first when you look at this parameter? Pointer. It's a pointer, which means it's what type of variable? Well, let me, let me just roll, you know, what type of variable is it? Is it an input parameter or an output parameter? It looks like an input parameter, doesn't it? because it's in the input part, but it's not. It's an output parameter. All right, so turns out that's an output parameter. And so now the question is, do you know what a handle is? You heard that term before? Yeah, it's a computer science term. Yeah, I could ask that on the test. Okay. So uh, if I were to ask a simpler question, a 319K question, I'd ask, what's a pointer, right? What's, if I asked what's a pointer, what would, what would be your answer? Pointer is? An address. An address. To what? Something. something. But it's usually something simple. Okay? So the definition between a, a handle is a pointer, but it's a something complicated. Okay? It's, handle is just a computer science term to something that's much more complicated than you could possibly imagine. Okay? In other words, in, in C, it's a pointer to a structure. All right, it's going to be a pointer. It's going to have a lot of fields in it, and the fields can change. Okay, so uh, it's like a like an like an object in in, in Java and C plus plus. Okay, when you see when, when you put when you write a, an object in in Java, I mean, when you write the name of a of a of a of a class, what is it? When you write you know, have a class and you, and you invoke its name, what do you get? You get everything about the object. Everything about the, the, the same thing here. I'm going to get everything about this file in one, one easy to carry around uh, address. All right, uh, that's obviously the name of the file. And this is going to tell me what I want to do. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, create it. I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to uh, allow to write to it. Okay, that's the, and there's a whole bunch of things can go in there. I can read it. I can, I can whatever. I can append to it. Okay. And then we got write, and you can see now, here's a very interesting, uh, write has uh, the first parameter looks familiar, okay? And now I asked you what type it is. It's a pointer, but is it an input or an output? Turns out this is an input, okay? The other one was an output, and they looked the same. Welcome to the big boy world, okay? All right, so that was the return parameter. This is the pass in parameter. Okay, so, so everything about that file is embedded in that pointer. Don't lose it, because then you can't get to it. Uh, this is going to be a buffer of length 1, 
And this is going to tell me how many times, uh, if I ask you to write one byte, it'll return to me how many bytes it actually read. So it's expecting, it's supposed to write one, and um, I'm expecting the result to be okay, and I'm expecting it to have written it. Okay. And then what's that? Ms. Valvano is saying that if that don't work, don't bother. Okay? If you can't write to it, why bother writing to it again? If you can't write to it, why bother reading it? So it's just going to stop right there. Okay, so. All right, so it'll, um, it'll write a whole bunch of stuff to the file, and then it will close the file. Okay? And then it's going to open that exact same file again, but this time it's just going to open it for reading, uh, and then it will read the file, and obviously compare to make sure the data it got were the same. So uh, it should say passed. Okay. Here's another test program. Here's another test program. Okay, where's the... Um, bunch of test programs. Yeah, here we go. This one. Um, this one here will take a file name. So if you put a file on the disk called, where's the name of it? If you, when, you, when you're formatting it, okay, when you're formatting it, put a, put a file, make a file with the editor called test, I think, yeah, great. Okay. So with the editor, when you format it, uh, add a file, <coughs> a text file onto your SD card called test.text with uh, a couple of characters in that text file, uh, and then it will open it up and write it. Otherwise, you'll just get an error. It didn't open it. It's not a catastrophic error. It's just a, all right. So uh, in summary, um, what we have is uh, the ability to open files for writing, open files for reading. Uh, you got multiple files open. They all have different handles. Um, and uh, my advice is to get yourself a couple of SD cards of different sizes um, if the, and, and run it on the existing starter files without as, with the fewest uh, changes you can, you can make. And then um, if it doesn't work, try another format. Some of your computers will let you choose FAT or FAT32. Um, FAT32 seemed to work for me. Uh, and, then, and then use it and modify it in small chunks. Okay, but this allows you to... Um, yeah. Questions on the file system? It, it's so free. If you're using your SD card, I'd wire it up just to play with next semester, by the way. So even if you don't want to use the file system, I'd encourage you to add those two pins uh, so that in some future world you can actually add it uh, as a data logger or whatever.